हेलो फ्रेंड गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज योर होस्ट खान बाबा गॉड विल गिव यू मोर हैप्पीनेस एंड लॉन्ग लाइफ आई ट्राई टू माय लेवल बेस्ट टू गिव यू लेटेस्ट अपडेट अबाउट इराकी दिन आर सो प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर माय वीडियो विद योर फ्रेंड एंड फैमिली विच विल हेल्प मी फॉर स्पोर्टिंग एंड नो लेट स्टार्ट द टूडे इन्फॉर्मेशन The only thing that changes is the bank notes themselves. You're not changing the value of the currency. A 25,000 dinar is going to have value as a 25 dinar. They're just going to lop the zeros off. Debt is still going to be the same. Your paycheck is still going to be the same. The only difference is when you go to cash your check. The dollars dinars they give you back are going to look different if they lop off the zeros. I am not sure why, but this Kuwaiti dinar has been in the news so much lately. Remember, drive. Shabibi told us that when Iraq does get reinstated, its nominal rate will be no more than around 25% higher than the Kuwaiti dinar. Remember, this is when the Iraqi dinar finally settles down to its nominal after the onslaught by the market once reinstated for trading. Does this mean the Kuwaiti dinar could also revalue? The Kuwaiti dinar has maintained its position as the most expensive currency in the world for many years, and its exchange rate against the dollar is currently one to three point two five. Will the Iraqi dinar overrun the long-standing Kuwaiti dinar in its position as the most expensive currency in the world? We can clearly now see something big is about to happen to. These currencies, Iraq is right on track to do some great things. They're going to continue to do that. Let's get this coalition forces out of there, plus the United States military, which is why I think Al Sadani is coming over here to talk to the president to see about getting these people out of there and leaving Iraq on its own devices. We'll see what happens from there. Sadani is going to need some exceptional strength. Which is exchange rate oriented to do business deals with the likes of GE, big oil companies, big solar energy. There, looking to get people in the steel industry, rebar industry, cement companies because they're going to need more than Iraq has on the ground. They're going to want the support from around the world, and Al Sadani is stating he's ready for business and opening to the world. Issued by the Ministry of Finance in April for the January accounts of the current fiscal year, which showed that oil is still the main resource for Iraq's general budget, reaching 89 percent, which indicates that the rentier economy is still the main basis of the country's general budget. The rentier economy is the oil economy of Iraqi, but even with the rentier. Economy alone, the Iraqi dinar can still maintain a realistic rate of at least three dollars or more, and this is not considering all the other assets and the two-thirds more oil Iraq is pumping and selling since 1991, when the dinar was just around three dollars. Sadani is visiting Washington, Michigan, and Texas while in the United States of America. Understand the seriousness of this trip. God bless you and take care.